April and uh, the snow is all gone in Michigan. Thank goodness for that. Nice warm day today and I'm starting to see spring is in the air. There's little zebra spiders starting to come out on my house. There's one right over here I'll show you in just a second. And there's also a, uh, I'm going to guess a female Phytopus audix that's also creeping out from under my vinyl siding. Uh, usually I see the um, the jumping spiders first, in this particular case the zebra, and now the uh, Phytopus audix female right below her. So let me show you those, and then we're going to take a look at segment number seven, the last in the series of a shamrock in her egg sac. I hope you enjoy it, but let's first take a look at the spiders here on my house. There's the little jumper. Welcome to spring. <laughs> Cute little guy. Hi. Yeah, I do have some extra hobbies other than just uh, hunting spiders and enjoying them. I also enjoy HO trains. And I finally hauled mine out after being in boxes since high school days to set up a little layout here. So in this last of the series, seven session series, on a female shamrock spider and her egg sac, now this is the concluding one. And uh, it's been good. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you stuck, stuck with us. Basically, I've taken three female spiders and uh, watched them as they go through the cycle of laying their eggs and then uh, uh, building their egg sacs and then finally uh, the death cycle that they go through. But the good thing is this. Come spring, we're going to have uh, some babies. Lots of babies. So stay tuned as we uh, take you into uh, what is about to happen. It's, it's May now and these should be hatching out Oh, probably in the next month or so. So stay tuned, there are going to be babies coming. Here's a little taste of the back foot. And she tries another taste. And one more taste. Well, that's a good thing. Well, she must like what she's tasting. She's putting it back in her mouth again. You can see her two sideways fangs on either side of her mouth appendage there that uh, that's her fangs that separate when she brings her foot in for a taste. There she's tasting with her pedipalp. Little tiny leg-like appendages on either side of the head area. Well at least we know we have some tasting going on. So I have to say that day one of the experiment is going fairly well. We'll see what tomorrow brings. In day two of my experiment with trying to feed protein to this dying female orb weaver, she's been more aggressively eating or sucking the protein off her legs. You can see her rubbing the liquid substance on the hairs of her legs and then passing that to her mouth to suck that off. And she seems to be a little bit spry today. The mixture with the egg white tends to get sticky as it dries, so it's 
spider doesn't like the feel of the stickiness. That's why I give her a little misting of water afterwards, which makes that, puts that more into a liquid surface and allows her to take that into her, uh, her mouthies here. Looks like the little lady's trying to come out and greet the morning. Here she comes. Now this is very interesting. She's laying down some drag threads here. Which means she has a little more protein in her than she had. Or she wouldn't be making those drag threads. Probably pretty hard to see them on the camera. But I can feel them as she moves around. Well, it's been exactly one month and four days since the third um, spider, my common garden spider here, has finally given and up the you ghost. Can see her in the bottom of the jar here. So my little experiment has come to an end. And um, say goodbye to the last of the three females. And in the spring, we'll get to say hi to their offspring. I uh, will see how close together they are born. They should be fairly close. They uh, laid their, uh, their eggs and they made their egg sacs uh, within a uh, short time of each other, so it could be a, a wild party of spring, spring spiderlings, and I hope to get some great footage of that uh, later on in the, uh, the new year. So, uh, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day. Take care now.